Welcome to Off the Press, uh, the newspaper review program, where we take a look at the national dailies and make sense of it. And with me to do so this morning is the political analyst, Moses Nike. Good to have you. Thanks for Good having morning. the controversial one. <laughs> oh, okay. I removed the controversial. Okay, the very controversial uh, <laughs> Moses Nyakbe is yeah. here. Okay, so we begin with, uh, we have this day, we have the nation and a couple of others, which we'll mention as we go. Uh, we begin with this day newspaper. Stallion Motors uh, shot over indebtedness to banks. Uh, Amcon, that story is on the front page already displayed. Thank you. And it's continued on page eight. And the CBN, banks refund 76.7 billion naira and uh, $2.9 million to customers over transaction issues. That's very honorable on page eight. And disobedience to court order recipe for uh, lawlessness, chaos, uh, Sultan wants. Senate orders investigation of DSS invasion of court. And senior advocates of Nigeria, Nigeria call for judicial commission of inquiry. That's on the front page. You can see there. And cannot CJN overcall for more Sharia provisions in constitutions on the front page also. But it's continued on page nine. And there's a picture story, well, of our president and the president of Egypt uh, uh, there in Egypt for the Peace uh, Forum. And then NCAA directs Turkish Airlines to suspend Nigerian operations. That's on page five. Where do we want to begin this morning? And Mr. Naipe. Yeah, uh, first of all, when I look at the picture story, <laughs> our... Um, You're impressed? Ah, uh, sorry. I am not, um, I'm not too impressed, you know, because uh, the two figures there... <laughs> That's the picture the, story up there. Yes, yeah, the picture story up there. The two figures there... Um, according to the punch, Major General Muhammad Buhari and then the Al Fatah Sisi, two of them have a very, very bad record when it comes to human rights. And there can be no peace if human rights is not uh, taken into cognizance. I see that picture as a high level of um, hypocrisy. Um, that's for that uh, picture. And also the CGN calling for more char Sharia provision in the constitution. It's it staggers my logical acumen. You know, during all this um, invasion of the courts and everybody's talking, this, the, CGN has not, the CGN has not said anything. He has not made his stance known concerning the invasion of the court and the blatant disregard of court orders. And he's talking about Sharia provisions, um, more Sharia provisions in the constitution. What about those people that worship Shango? What about those people that worship Ahmad Yoha? Are they not Nigerian citizens? How do we cater for them in the Constitution? So this is a religious discrimination. And also, uh, the Sultan of Sokoto, I want to commend him for what he said concerning the disobedience of court order. Mm. It's a recipe for lawlessness. And if it's not checked, it's going to cause um, so much problem. And also, the, um, um, the Senate has also ordered an investigation. It, see, I'm tired of all these investigations and investigations and Are investigations. You? And nobody will be held accountable. That's not, uh, that's jumping the gun. Let's hold on and see. We know these people now. You already know the We answer. know them. We know the antecedents. How many panel of inquiries and investigations no, have we... this is a different issue. This one is a different issue. Mm. With this, this APC... I mean, this, this is a different situation. With that's this my APC point. Uh, people. My point is that you cannot... You can't jump the gun. You can predict, but you're not The certain. last time, they were, during the Kogi and Bayasa election, when I came here, you were not here. I told them that I wasn't expecting anything from the Kogi and Bayasa elections. You know, when I speak, you say I'm controversial. But I speak the truth. These people will not do anything. They will not do anything. In fact, what we should be talking about now and that they are, they are, they are systematically covering, it should be electoral reforms. It's because we don't have good electoral reforms. That's why we have bad, bad people in governance. And when we have bad people in governance, they will not respect the rule of law. If we have a system that brings in good people, credible people, people that understand governance, there will be respect to the rule of law. Mm -hmm. And once there's respect to the rule of law, there will be obedience to court order. So what we should be doing now, and they are diverting our attention, before you know it, it's 2023. This is almost uh, eight months into this administration. Nobody is talking about signing the new electoral act, electoral reform. All the civil society organizations are just making noise in irrelevant things. When we should be talking about electoral reforms. So mm, I don't quite agree focus. with we you, should, but yeah, anyway, I don't expect uh, you the to. CBN mm. uh, refunds 76.7 billion uh, 
Naira, which is $20.9 million to customers over transaction issues. What are your thoughts? Until I see people that have received it. Mm -hmm. uh, these ones are just uh, paper talk. Until we begin to see receive testimonies of people who say, I have been refunded and so on and so forth. I mm -hmm. just... Um, we have so much uh, hype on newspapers these days, so... You want to I see don't. the practicality? Yes, I want to see people testify. Mm, that, that I've received, I have received a million naira, Yes, for yes, I want, that's, what, that's what I want to see. Okay, so mm. we we'll go for a quick break. We'll be back in a moment. Please be with us. Welcome back. You're still watching Off the Press here on Plus TV Africa, where we take a look at the national days. And with me to do so, still in the studio, is uh, Moses Naikbe. So we were discussing on uh, this day, uh, but we'll move on now to the Nation newspaper. And the Nation newspaper says, Nati unveils owners of 270 oil gas licenses. We need transparency. That's on page 8, as displayed there. And 50 die in Undo, Akwai bomb, Bauchi crashes, and 6 killed in rivers. That's so uh, unfortunate there on page 4. Now, only five states paying 30,000 minimum wage. NLC threatens strike again. That's on page 8. Now, DSS clears Supreme Court Justice Okoro of misconduct. On the front page there, you can see. And then disquiet in Senate over 100 billion naira constituency cash. No cause for alarm, says postman. Why confidence votes suffered setback? And again, we have a picture story of the governor of uh, Lagos State there at the Faculty of Engineering. Uh, so I think yesterday is in as a guest speaker in Lagos State. And then Exit Poll predicts conservative win in UK. That story is on page 43, something on the foreign scenes there. And IG suspends Edo APC rally, which is also on page 8. Um, let's take a look at uh, the nation newspaper, Mr. Naikbe. What are you happy or what are you unhappy about? Or what do you, where yeah. do you want to weigh in? You know, well, in Nigeria these days, you have a few things that make you happy. So, but um, that makes you happy. That so you makes say, everybody happy. Well, you mm. can't speak for everyone, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, so let's okay, take a look the, at this. Disquiet in the Senate over 100, 100 billion naira constituency cash. cash. I don't know their sharing formula, but I believe every constituency is equal. How do you mean? No, no, no. I believe that by constitutional provision, I want to believe that every, cons every constituency should be equal because you are, re you are elected to represent a certain set of people, mm -hmm. whether from Lagos or from Akwaibom, and I don't think any senator is superior to another senator. And I don't think any constituency is superior to another constituency. But I wonder why there is this discrepancy in the distribution of this constituency project. Some get as much as 500 million naira for constituency allowance. Some get less than 200 million for constituency allowance. For goodness sake, how can you explain such a discrepancy? Do you take into cognizance maybe the needs of each constituency? Just asking. Every state provides the same amount of senators. Every state. No state produces one more higher than the other. So what is the rationale behind the discrepancy of constituency project? Mm -hmm. It just shows you that... No, that did not answer my question. In terms of needs of each constituency. What, what makes I mean. your need bigger than my need? You may not know because no, no. each constituency are not the that's same. That's what I'm saying. Okay. What, what, what tells you that your need is greater than the need of my constituency? They are all human beings there. You have three senators per state, I think. Three senators per state, if I'm not mistaken. So what makes your own um, constituency greater than my constituency? So it, it, it shows you that these senators... They are not after the interest of the people. They are after their, in the interest of their stomach. These people are just there to feed fat and not after it. I, the, the Senate president should be, if the Senate can muster enough confidence, this is enough to get the Senate president impeached. 
Okay, um, we'll move on from that story now. Uh, somehow, this skipped me. Electricity workers end strike after deal with government. Uh, Ngige and union leader clash. That's on the front page, somewhere there on the front page. Uh, but it's continued on page seven. Yeah, we can, you can continue with the other story. Or do you want to talk about it? It's the just electricity, like, uh, whether they're on strike or on strike, we don't know. We never have light. No, we don't know. So their strike to me and to majority of Nigerians has no, we don't know what, it has no effect because we are always, it's like they're always on strike. Over time, people, there's been this argument in some quarters that mm. it seems like strike action is working now in Nigeria. So when you decide to strike at a strategic time, for instance, we're having this conversation over this program yesterday and mm. someone said, when you, they decided to strike at this time, which is festive period, when people would need light, so maybe that will call the government's attention. Do you think that's what we're seeing? Because they just called off the strike, the, after a deal, anyways. The problem the is, Nigerians don't know whether they went on strike or not. The only time you can feel a strike effect is when these people are offering essential services okay. that is consistent and constant. So majority of Nigerians don't even know whether this union is existing or not. So your point exactly is that even we don't, you don't feel the effect of... We the... don't know whether they went on strike or not because it's normal, it's status quo. Everything is as normal and as usual as ever before. That's unfortunate. I'm not sure you're clear. I'm clear about what you're talking about. Okay, so you are never clear move. about what I yeah, say. Yeah, because I mean, you, you are going this way and that you way. No, what I'm saying is that the light is never constant. That's what I need you to say. Oh, that's no, no, why. that's what I'm saying. But the light is never... You don't know no, whether that, they are there or whether they're not there. That's what I'm saying. You didn't, understand, you, you, you didn't understand what I'm saying. The light you is didn't never there. You say it clearly. No, no, the light is never there. So whether they go on strike or not, you understand me? There's a parable that says, Oja oibo, komokbe ni konwa. That is to say that whether you go to markets, you know, you go or not. They don't know whether you came or not. They oh. are, you know, so your presence... There's so much. There are so much people coming to the market, so we don't really feel your presence. Interesting analogy mm. there. Okay, so we have other stories too. DSS yeah. class Supreme Court Justice um, Okoro. Okoro of Okoro. You see, that is... This, these are just all media trial. Before you, you invade the home of a justice, you have to make sure that you have done your investigation. You have and mm. evidence. How can you invade the home of justices and now you are clearing them? Mm -hmm. It shows that if I'm this justice, I, 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 will, I, will, I will sue the DSS for, for, for such, you know, uh, act. act of embarrassment. What did you go there for in the first place when you didn't have facts? You know, in, 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 in Senna crimes, what they do is that they would have investigated you over a period of time. Mm. And they have solid evidence that you are guilty, and then they will invade your home with court warrant, and then get whatever with evidence, evidence. Yes, with evidence to to pres to prosecute you. But this one is not. And after many years, you are now declaring it's 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 shameful. Hmm. The DSS is becoming uh, an agency of shame to this nation. Hmm. Okay, we'll go to the Punch newspaper in the interest of time, not taking words out of your mouth. And the Punch says Nigeria falls short of economic growth expectations, as according to IMF, and that story is on page 29. And Buhari's king's men attack Aisha over villa crisis. That story is on page 2, and U.S. charges three Nigerians and others with $18 million bank fraud. That's on page 11. That doesn't look good. Disobedience to court orders. Uh, okay, that's the Sultan already. We talked about it on page nine. And the big story on the Punch newspaper this morning is uh, 15 injured and tension rises ahead of Edo APC rally. That story is on page, uh, page two. IG issues two orders in 24 hours and suspends reception rally. Events must hold. Heavens won't fall, Osho Mele group say. And then we have picture story of um, the clash uh, yesterday in Benin City between the uh, supporters of Adams or Shomele, one faction against the other. And the Abiodun sends commissioner nominees list to assembly on page seven. Mob sent, set mentally ill man ablaze for killing nine. That was very horrible. Uh, that's on pages four and five. How did he end up killing nine persons? Nate again unveils owners of oil, uh, which we've seen. FG suspends Turkish Airlines operations in Nigeria. 
And that's on page 32. 24 family members and four others burnt in Bauchi crash. Uh, sad story. Again, on pages four and five of the Punch newspaper. And two INEC staff jailed 42 years over Dezani. 362 million naira bribes. That story is on page 13. We're going to take two stories here because we're looking at the yeah, time. Yeah, two. So That's what's on my mind. I'm going to talk about the INEC staffs that are jailed and then yeah. our first uh, lady. Okay. Yeah. Are you following the events that is happening in the first house? Yes. The first family, yeah. as they it's say. Funny enough, it's becoming a, like a Fuji house of commotion. You it's know. so dramatic. It's so dramatic. You know, and... We shouldn't ignore what this woman is saying. What the same. You know, because it's a woman and because of our the cultural tendency of the part of the world that we come from, people will want to suppress what she's saying. Mm. You know, but this woman is a very intelligent woman and this woman knows what she's saying. There are some people that are usurping the powers of the president. There are some people that are for her to come out to say things like this. It mm. shows you that she knows what she's saying. And it's very unfortunate that the cabal will not allow investigations to go on in such a thing like this. And I just, I don't know how this is going to pan out. And mm -hmm. I, I am waiting to see what the president is going to say or do about what his wife has raised about um, such a sensitive issue. Yeah, she said someone sensitive. is giving presidential directive mm -hmm. without the consent of the husband. I'm not a lawyer, That's but I think that is treasonable. Mm. I'm not a lawyer, but um, I think that, sh that is treasonable. And I think that um, if the DSS has, wants to really work, they should really investigate um, this issue and bring the book, those people that are responsible. Mm. And also the INEC, um, the two INEC staffs that, are, um, that have been jailed for the bribe of uh, Desiani. Yeah, 362 million mm. naira. You know, see, it, it seems to be plenty of money flowing in different directions in this country. Yes, but I don't want to look at it from that perspective. Okay. What I want to look at it is, you see, we need to 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 to, to fine tune our electoral system. Okay. So you think that's where the whole yes. the bulk of the it's issue is? It's unfortunate that we we at over eight months now. We are not talking about electoral reform. Everybody is distracted. The Senate, INEC, there is INEC, everybody is distracted. Now, we are supposed to talk about electoral reforms and the Edo elections that is coming up in 2020, the electoral reform should be test run in Edo election. Mm -hmm. If this will are serious to give us a credible system that will checkmate all these I I inadequacies in our system mm -hmm. that will block the loopholes of bribery and corruption and you that is you are going to serve as an electoral officer you are going to serve as a returning officer you are going to serve as in whatever capacity during the election you know what it, it will cost you if you flout the law yeah. see as long as we continue to, to to deal with the trivial things concerning our electoral system we are not going to go anywhere let the senate let INEC take up this issue mm -hmm. and make sure that our electoral systems are reformed and let us see how we we'll move forward from there. Okay, so that, that's a good way. Mm. And then we're going to just take the last paper, yeah. uh, which is the Vanguard newspaper. It has plenty of stories. MBA, Afeni Ferre, Ohaneze, Arewayu, others blast the federal government. And then uh, Senate probes alleged DSS invasion, which you've already talked about. The federal government orders audits on all spectrum licenses. Nigeria will issue visa on arrival to all Africans from January, according to uh, Buhari there on page eight. We didn't condemn by us and Kogi polls, ONSA says. And and so our next staff, just what you've been talking about now, gets 21 years each in jail. And the body of San asks Buhari to set up commission of inquiry, poor service, NCAA to suspend Turkish Airlines operation. If, please find out what the if is, and Nigeria to access $1 billion uh, energy fund on page 19. Uh, respite as electricity workers suspend strike, even though you don't agree that there is a respite. So do you want to talk about one story in the uh, the presidency jibe at US, UK, EU mm -hmm. on rights um, abuses. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate. You see, the last time I came here, you you accused me of being um, um, controversial. Like controversial. I'm not accusing. I'm mm. telling you. Yes, you and I like that uh, title. You know, <laughs> okay. If the EU releases okay, a quickly. report, mm -hmm. if the EU releases a report that praises the Nigerian government, 
the you FG like will, will like it and they will celebrate Wouldn't it. Wouldn't you like it? No, 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 no. Okay, I'm not go saying ahead, what make I like. Your point. The, the FG will like it and they will celebrate it. Now, the FG is telling them that what the part you are told in is wrong. And the, F, the FG is telling the EU, the US, and the UK that you have no right. Don't interfere in don't our interfere case. Don't interfere in our case. Mm. So it, this is hypocrisy. And it's so unfortunate. And I, and I hope the US, the UK, and the EU will do more to put um, diplomatic pressure on this um, government that is going out of hand so that they can do um, what is right. If they can do that, it's going to set a, the right precedent for Nigeria to, to move forward. All right. Thank you so very much. The controversial, the controversial Naepe, one. Naepe, Moses <laughs> Naepe, thank you for sharing your thoughts. It's nice with sharing you. your studio with you this morning. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> this is where we're going to call it a wrap on of the press. We'll do this uh, from next week, Monday to Friday, the same time, 8.30 here on Plus TV Africa. Have yourselves a good day.